Okay, you not eat the white bread. You must eat the brown bread. Yeah. Yeah, you not eat. Then you the police see you. You eat a white bread. You go to to prison. That is a trunk with car. So the you issue. You go to jail. Karutura is actually like the heart of Ventuk City, because here you actually feel the people, the vibes of the people. Yeah, and everybody's so friendly. You won't believe if I tell you that my journey across Africa has been one of the greatest form of education for me because I learn every single day. I mean, I learn new things every day. And anytime I learn new things, I feel like it's my responsibility to share whatever I've learned with you all. And this is why I do what I do by telling the African story by an African. I was in Namibia and I must be honest that Namibia is one of my favorite countries in the world. I fell in love with Namibia. Namibia is a great country, a very beautiful country, but I never knew that Namibia really got a better history until I got in here. I'm not talking about the 1904 genocide caused by the Germans. There is a, a picture of uh, German soldiers uh, and uh hanging the uh, Nama and Herero, what we call the Nama Herero genocide. So this happened in 1904 to 1908. So the Nama and Hereros were uh, forced to move out of their land, to lose their grazing land because the Germans wanted to, wanted their land. And the people resisted. So the Germans poisoned their water. They, the order was given to slaughter every women, children and kids and uh, some some people were even, they fled to Botswana and some of them are still living in Botswana today. But I'm talking about the forceful removal of black people from the old location to Katutura. The event happened in 1959 and you can see that there is an old truck and few black people that are packed in there. This was happening during the eviction of people from this area to Katutura. So who gave this place Katutura? The name. The name. Where did they come from? Yes. That, uh we shall not leave. We will not leave. That's the meaning of Katutura. The error is Katuna ku Katura. Yeah. Isn't it Katutura? Ni Katuna ku Katura. Katuna ku enda ngo na ngo Katuna ku Katura. Yeah. Hmm. And the Tamara is interesting. To eta tite. Yeah. Hmm. And the things and Oshivambo people is interesting. Ahawe. Yeah. The name, mm. you did read up what the name means, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We shall the, not live. Yeah, the mm. place where no one wanted to mm. So it's the ah. people who named it to say, we shall not go there, or mm. we shall not settle there, mm. because there was a lot of resistance. So all this northern side of the city, most mm. of it, white people lived there, and they just kept extending in towards the city. Mm. But because of their segregation policy, mm. they would keep chasing, mm. let people away would keep mm. telling people, mm. move, 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 get away, mm. uh, occupying the space. Mm. So this is the area where black people were uh, living and uh, uh, they were forced out. They were moved uh, out of the area and uh, they also just didn't accept. They fought back and uh, there was some people that were killed. Uh, we'll see it when we go to the cemetery. As I say, this area is the old location. We are now entering the memorial grave of the people that uh, lost their life during the resistance of the eviction by the apartheid uh, regime, uh, forcefully moving them to Katutura. So it was really a fight. Uh, people were fighting, and the police during that time uh, was also uh, fighting back, like shooting back to the people who were not armed. So they were just protesting, like, no, this is our land. We have been living here. Our great-great-grandfathers are buried here, so 
uh, I can't remember the number, how many people died, but uh, this is the grave just to commemorate them and their bravery in fighting the colonial uh, system. Yeah. This is the mass grave, like where signifies, yeah. What was going through your mind during that time? What was going through your mind like this is your land and they are telling you that I mean you own something and they are telling you that go away. What was going through your mind during that time? So when they were at school they would get letters that they would be told to give to their parents and this letter said that they would be told to give to their parents and this letter said that tell your parents to pack and move. And, and they would chew up those papers and destroy those papers because the papers said that where they lived, which was old location, was dirty. But they thought that Kavitura itself mm -hmm. was dirty. So this is the house where she came to stay when she got resettled from that. Mm -hmm. And uh, her sister used to live just behind here. Mm -hmm. Kamusuko. Kamusuko. Albertina. And her sister's name was Albertina Kamusuko. And she was a friend of Kapurukade Mungunda. Mm -hmm. And Kapurukade Mungunda is the one who threw the tear gas mm -hmm. at the police and bombed the car and she was shot by the police. Mm -hmm. They were evicted from their houses. Right? Yes. Okay. And brought them to Katutura. Katutura. Yes. Mm -hmm. When they were coming to Katutura, were there houses in here that they told them that, okay, we are evicting you from your other house, yeah. but come and stay here. We'll build houses for you to stay here. Was Police camp, taught you so. Yeah. So the idea was that you were removed from old location, but you were assigned to a house. So like this house is where they were brought to. Mm -hmm. So which means they build these houses for them. Yes. For them to come and stay. So here they would <laughs> pay <laughs> four rents and ten cents. Mm. And they didn't buy the houses as such, they were given the houses. Mm. But in old location they would pay like <laughs> 25 cents. Mm. In, in the old, old man. So the 25 cents that they paid was just more for like sanitation, toilets and all of that stuff. Mm. Uh, so it wasn't rent as such. If you really made it to this far, I guess you have to agree with me that Namibia indeed got a better history and you really want to know more. Just like I want to know how was life during that time. Yeah. 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 So it was very dehumanizing to be in that place. Right, so even the way they were treated in terms of just getting mm. food, mm. you would be served in a very small tin, right? Uh, instead of being served with dignity in a plate where, you know, when... just the dynamics that it was. Mm. Kind of mm. of if white people are eating and you happen to be in that space, you're not allowed to be there. You have to excuse yourself. Mm. So, experience had a lot to do with resisting and not wanting to do, mm. not wanting to leave, mm. right? Like many other people in her community. They worked with Permit. permits. Mm. They called it a pass. Mm. Yeah? So if you wanted to travel, whether you're going to another town or you're going mm. to another person's house, mm. and you get caught there, you must present your pass. It was a way yeah, of he was strong mm. and regulating mm. black people. Mm. Had vitamins were passed out. No. White people net did not have net net only black and people. The, and the clear language, it was not passed out. So let's go and learn more about the old location inside. Uh, looking at the photographs of how this place was looking during that time of the eviction. If you go through the pictures here, you can see the old location, one of the oldest pictures. As you can see, there is a bulldozer or what that removing the house. The critical thing here, yeah, this was a shop. Okay, mm -hmm. black people were living across that building. There's okay. a bridge there. Mm -hmm. It's like a border. Okay, that the black men 
cannot live here. You only come here, you must get the pass mm. to come and buy bread here in this shop, from this shop. From that, that location there is where the black people are. Yeah, the old people? location, yeah. Right? The yeah. white people now wanted that place to say black and white cannot live together. Mm -hmm. So this is another place, that's another place. Mm -hmm. But they removed them to take them far in the Victoria. If this bridge could talk really, it will be explaining the history of uh, the separation between the blacks and the whites in Vinduk. And uh, there is a man that was explaining that you needed a pass to just cross this bridge because then you were entering a white zone where white people were living and this is where black people were living. But I, I, I don't understand. This land belongs to somebody. You came, yeah. instead of you to live with them, decided to evict them and even telling them that yo you can't come here yeah i think it's a colonial mentality people you came people welcomed you but you you became so greedy you wanted everything good you, you want to take their land force them out and that's it's really a colonial mentality that that also happened here yeah like so we're driving now toward katutura we just came from the areas of Auckland and Tawanispak, which is uh known uh, historically the old location so you can just look at the distance that we've been driving almost <laughs> like 15 or more minutes we've been driving and we are still not in Katutura so imagine people are evicted from that area to Katutura and if you live in Katutura right now and you work in Auckland it's still a struggle to come there every morning in terms of transport and other things Welcome to Katutura and we are we are entering now Evelyn Street, the famous street I think uh, in Vinduk everyone knows uh, um, Evelyn Street. It's also one of the street where you find uh, money kind of in terms of businesses. A lot of uh, people do their businesses here be it is it uh, selling of alcohol, car wash, mechanics and uh, you also find flats. So it's really the hub of Katutura to say there are many 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 hubs but this is one of them where people even sold their houses that are in this street so they could be turned into businesses yeah and uh, it's also according to the people one of the unsafe uh, location in Vinduk because a lot of crimes happen here because uh, of the inequalities and, and so on so everyone wants to hustle here and, and so on so on the left and on the right back and forth it's bars as you can see it's a bar close to a bar next to hey, a bar after say? a garage after a car wash so it's really a business it's center it's of katutura uh, so the katutura dream starts here and, and so on so it's kind of like a local economy uh, happening here so the driving even here you have to be careful because people are a little bit ignoring the law and the rules <coughs> And also some roads that need traffic lights do not have traffic lights, so it becomes chaotic. And, uh, the challenges mostly here is the traffic in the morning if you stay here. And this, this is like the main road that everyone used to go to town. So you can imagine in the morning rush hour, it's always traffic uh, with our little population. Yeah. Since we've been driving, we haven't seen any white person living here. So and uh, so this situation doesn't affect everyone it affects specifically black people uh the inequality uh of and wealth distribution yes and most of the areas in uh in in this location are named after the liberation uh, uh struggle leaders uh and uh, really it's it's a shame that uh, people that fought for independence and liberation independent uh, and, and independence economical emancipation were named after places that looks like this it's it doesn't really uh reflect to what they were fighting okay and the sad part is that the majority of people that live here uh, uh in the past years have voted for the ruling party and that really to my to my views couldn't do much to improve people's life and uh they are st they still believe as you can there's a flag there that's a ruling party's flag they still believe that these are the only people that are going to uh, liberate them and help them to come out of this situation
my name is Maya and I'm from Ghana and I'm here for the first time and all I want to know from you is how is life in Katutura? Hi, my name is Laimi. I'm from Havana, somewhere in Katutura. So we have so many amazing things in Katutura. We have roads, tired roads and gravel roads. We have electricity in some parts. We have water. Okay, let me talk about the roads. We have our roads, there are some challenges when it comes to roads and water, electricity, but I go through one by one. Okay, let me say road, there are potholes. There are tents or there are parts where you find potholes in the road. And there are, there are parts where there's no tired road. So that makes it a bit challenging because you can get cap or you can have your heavy things, but then on the road, it's not really safe to transport sometimes, but here. Yeah. And again, water. There are some locations in Katutura which don't have water. Or let me, let me not say don't have. They have water, but not really close, or we don't really own it. It's a public, we only have public taps. As you can see, some are here. So those are what we call public taps. And they are houses that are far from public taps. So you have to walk a bit distance carrying your container of water and all that, which is also one of the challenges. Um, coming to electricity, there are some locations where we don't have electricity. We make use of generator, solar panels and street, I mean battery lights. Where we buy batteries, we put in the lamps, then we switch on, switch off whenever you need. And yes, Kadutra is one of the most amazing places. I like it more because life this side is so, it's fun, there's fun. I mean, we have that neighborhood where we go out or we meet, we have fun, we talk every time, any day. But then, let me know, okay, in case of comparing Kadutura to Olympia and those sides, there you live as if you are just in, in your house. It's like you don't have neighbors, you don't make use of neighbors. You may need something, but you cannot ask your neighbors. Hey, in Kadutura, it's so fun, you can ask your neighbor, what do you have, you have this? I'm shooting this, can you help me with? And we go on, it's like we are family here. And again, there's just so much entertainment in Katutura. We have Kapana, we have bars. Okay, maybe bars are not important. We have bars where we entertain ourselves. And I, I, I want to ask like, the way the house looks like, I think is the best version that a house has to be? I would say no, because when it's summer, it's very hot, and again, there are people that are really trying their best, but uh, life is hard, you know, we are not all the same, we don't have all the materials one needs to have a proper house. So, you go in the house, you find, it's the room, okay, the couple's room, then the kids' room, then the kitchen. So it's not really safe to do things in the house and the houses are not really properly done sometimes. And again, when it's raining, rainy seasons, there are times where rain damages our houses, like flooding away the houses and all that, when they are built at the... Do you think um, Katutura need help from the government? Yes, very much. Mostly water, electricity, road, or maybe taxi rank, yes, a road, taxi rank comes with the road. So maybe if we get the third road somewhere, we can get taxi rank near, because our taxi rank is far away, and it's very far to get here. Plus, this is not the end, the end is that side, and it's very far. Oh, yes, we really need help. We need light. We live in the dark when it's, in the evening, it's really dark, unless maybe there's a bar, or maybe there's a house with solar panels or a generator that lights up at the surrounding environment, otherwise not the whole location. Thank you so much for talking to me. You're welcome. Thank you.